swine is going to drive Cornelia up the wall. Who? That old woman who drools over any man under 35? Yes, that one. But tonight you'll think of her as what she is, the best wine critic living in the United States, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, seems you're taking this wine business way too seriously. You'll never learn, will you? Money doesn't open all the doors, but social status does. And social, social status, status is gained, gained by, by knowledge of the, of the arts, arts and wines. Wine. Listen to me. You're going to show special interest to anything Cornelia tells you, and that's final. Okay, Mom. Please, don't be so uptight. Sooner or later, with that wine cellar that you have, be sure to write a favorable article about you in the Wine Spectator. Yes, indeed. If you enjoyed the mushroom soup, the next dish is going to melt in your mouth. Let me guess. You got this one in Tiffany. Oh, keep guessing, <laughs> darling. It is a spit-roasted suckling lamb with seasonal vegetables and a dried fruit condiment. <laughs> the recipe came from the book La Terre de Allée de Cosse. You've heard of him, I'm sure, the world's greatest chef. Katarina, go and bring the wine that is sitting in the studio room. It's on the table breathing. Angela, dear, your son is becoming as handsome as his mother. With his beautiful eyes. Well, Cornelia, I hope I'm still as attractive as you are in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Now how about this one, Cornelia? I bet you'll never name this one. Rioja? Perhaps. And I suppose it's from a small winery. Maybe yes, maybe not. But it's an excellent year. No doubt about it. Well, it shouldn't be too difficult then. I wouldn't be too sure of that if I were you. Excuse me, ladies, I had a little accident. I'll be right back. You know, it's such a special wine that if you don't mind, we could play a little guessing game. What sort of game? Well, just a little bit. If you can name the exact wine, me, I'll give you two cases of this wine. And let me add that there are no more cases of that wine available from this year. Well, if it's such a special and excellent winery, why don't we bet on something really important? You want to bet more? Okay. Let's say my small Matisse. Are you that sure of yourself? Yes, I am. I want to bet on something more interesting. Something really interesting. Let's say, if I name the wine correctly, I win you sometime. What do you mean by winning me? Uh, my dear Cornelia. <laughs> your mother and I are betting on this wine. I guess the name correctly. You'll marry me, darling. You can't be serious. Tony is not an object. He's a man. I can't bet my son. Really, Cornelia, sometimes you're very funny. Yes, Angela, you're right. Unless she has a daughter my age. <laughs> no, I don't have any children. But I do have property. Think about this. It'll be impossible for her to name the winery, I assure you. You have nothing to worry about. What the hell are you implying, Angela? Why would you bet against my son? Mother, how dare you? Can house in Pacific Heights. How much is it worth? Nearly five million dollars. Well, well, Cornelia. I never suspected how much you wanted to get into my pants. I should feel flattered, shouldn't I? Very much. Now think about this, Tony. An expert tasting a wine can only go so far in naming the vineyard. She can tell you the region, like Rioja, for example, but to name the exact origin of a wine by mere taste and smell alone? It's impossible. And here, my dear mother betting on me like I'm one of her trophies. Isn't this a charming situation? But you women seem to forget one small detail. I am not for sale. 
Let's be realistic, Tony. You don't like to work, and I'm unwilling to support you for the rest of my life. I'm telling you, Cornelia will never name the right vineyard. I'm just trying to make you rich. How concerned a mother you are. Five million dollars. Yes. What if I refuse? What if I withdrew your name from my bank accounts? You wouldn't! Do you want to bet? You win, as usual. Then it's a bet. Yes, it's a bet. You'll not regret it. Katerina, please. Deep garnet color. Cherry red with slightly orange tinged edges. Gentle, mild aroma with a touch of spice. Tasty, elegant, and with well resolved sweet tannin. Excellent. But not unusual enough. It's definitely not a Ribera del Duero. Must be a mix. I think it's one of the new generation of Rioja, like San Vicente. Yes, it definitely is one of the Senoria de San Vicente's because of its power. It is a San Vicente, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, please, put that cigarette down. For an awful habit. Tasting and smoking do not go together, dear. Neither money and youth, dear. I'm sorry, but I can't have anybody smoking. Not at this moment. Now the year. Difficult. It has a medium depth. Pleasant, but not that light around the edge. I think it's not really an old wine. Mother. Mother. Shh. I think it's between the year 1994 and 1996. Mm. I think I have it. Yes, I do. It's a San Vicente, 1996. So that's what you think? I guess so. Well, is it or isn't it? It's a San Vicente, 1996. Well, aren't you going to show us the bottle so we can all see the label? Angela? Be quiet, Tony. Cornelia, we should talk about this. There's nothing to talk about. It's very simple. I gave my answer. I took the risk. And now I want to know if it is or if it is not. Dora Cordelia. Yes, what do you want? I believe these glasses are yours. Mine? No. No, I don't think so. Yes, Signora. Yours. You left them in the studio room next to the bottle of wine, San Vincente, 1996. Thank you.
quedarme y en esta copa de vino vuelve tu boca a besarme vuelve tu boca a besarme ay madre que la luna llena espejo de plata en el río que viene a lavarse las penas con estrellas del rocío con estrellas del rocío desde el fondo Desde el fondo del olvido 